Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video and welcome back to another episode of Space Plan. Uh, now, first off, I would like to uh, apologize for this video coming out a bit late. Um, it coming out a bit late is kind of contradictory to the channel update video I released yesterday, but at least I'm getting the content out, um, and I think that's a plus. Um, and the rest of the content for today should be on time i'm not so sure about the three o'clock slot uh but we will see six o'clock will definitely be all right um it's just uh this video and possibly the three o'clock video that are going to be a little late um so i apologize for that didn't intend for that to happen um i overslept I slept past my alarm Ended up sleeping an extra three hours past when I was supposed to wake up. And I was going to wake up and record a bunch of videos. But now I'm playing from behind. So, can't really do that. Um, but, in relation to this game, uh, I haven't played this game in almost two weeks. So, we have over little over three billion watts on our hands at the moment. So, we can essentially buy whatever we want. And we're going to buy that stuff we're gonna buy that and we're gonna buy that too and now we're close to a million watts per second which is pretty cool I gotta say um, and then this is just updating uh, this information because we got all those new things I'm also gonna buy some new potato launchers so that we have six actually seven we'll do seven And now we're uh, now we're actually closer to two billion or two million watts per second rather than a million, um, just by putting in all that stuff alone. So that's pretty cool. We doubled our production essentially, um, just with the stuff we've bought. Um, now I don't want to buy anything else right now because I'm under the impression that more ideas will be coming um so i i want to have that available to me um uh you when whenever they come up so that i don't have to you know sit around and essentially do nothing um while they're right there now, that kind of does mean that I have to sit around and do nothing and wait until they actually show up, but, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's all we do in these episodes anyway, is sit around and talk about random shit. Um, and uh, yesterday's episode was, I, I, I'm, I'm almost positive it was outdated. Um, I did leave a little warning on the, uh, at the beginning of the video saying, hey, the commentary is probably outdated. Um, so if I'm talking about things that happened two weeks ago, you'll understand why. Um, but now we live in a completely different time. And uh, so I think I think this episode I'm allowed to talk a little sports because it's been two weeks essentially since I have. And uh, a lot of stuff has gone on in that time frame. Uh, so I'm going to start with the start with hockey uh the nhl my pittsburgh penguins won the stanley cup for the second time in a row um you know on a controversial call um in game six well that wasn't really what led them to win it just prevented nashville from scoring one particular goal but the success of the penguins did not hinge on that one bad call um you know, they, the Predators, uh, the Nashville Predators, could not execute on their power play. They had five opportunities on their power play. At one point, a five-on-three power play, and they could not score. Uh, so that's on them. And the Penguins were just able to score a couple of goals uh, at the end of the game to... Um, or really one goal at the end of the game to solidify their victory. Um, the Predators did not play well that entire game. Um, so it was 
it, I hate it when people hinge games on one particular bad call when there's so much more that was at play than just that. You know, it was a bad call. I'm not saying it wasn't. Um, and I'm not saying that it that it didn't prevent Nashville from scoring and potentially changing the outcome of the game. But you can't hinge everything on that one thing, you know? Um, because I could, I could just as easily hinge everything about that game on the fact that the Predators couldn't score on their power play, you know? You know, I could easily hinge everything on that. And that's not fair either because that like not everything in that game hinged on the fact that they couldn't score on their power play you know so it, it's kind of ridiculous to to hinge games solely on one thing when there's a lot going on there's a lot that feeds into it um so i hate when people do that and they do it all the time they do it for a variety of different sports anytime there's a call that goes um against a team um, that's it's essentially an underdog, which Nashville was. Um, people are going to pounce all over it, say the thing's rigged. You know, shit like that um, happens with the Patriots all the time. Um, happens with the Warriors and the Cavaliers and in the NBA, and I'm sure it happens in other sports as well. Uh, I'm just not aware of it. So, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? People will believe what they want to believe. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy that the Penguins won again. Um, so that was good. Uh, but in the NBA finals, the Warriors beat out the Cavaliers four games to one. And, uh, I actually went to game four, uh, in Cleveland. Um, and, uh, that was the game, the one game the Cavs won. And, uh, of course, when you go to a game like that, and, and obviously I'm rooting for the Cavs because I live here in Cleveland. I've been a fan for eight years. Uh, obviously, when you go to a game like that and you see how the Cavs play, you're under the impression that they're that they could actually pull this thing off and potentially win the series. Um, you know, you don't really come to your senses um, until game five you know, the next game, um, you know, and when you're in that kind of environment as well, a lot of the calls that go in favor of the other team are made out to look like bad calls. Um, but you're not watching on TV, you're watching right there. And the difference between that is that on TV, you can see all the different angles for a call and you can get the right call like you can you you can understand what the right call is and whether or not the refs m made the right call um and a good example of this is um Kyrie Irving the Cavaliers point guard he committed a backcourt violation uh he went over and back and the refs did not catch it um and not neither did anybody in uh in uh, in Quick and Loans Arena, including myself, um, it was kind of just a thing that nobody really paid attention to. However, if you know someone like Stephen Curry did that in Quick and Loans Arena, then it'd be completely different because it's a player from the opposing team, you know. So, I think you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, but that uh, that game four was. Uh, was hectic, that's for sure. You know, uh, Cavs may have won by, what was it, 21? But that game was hectic, and it felt a lot closer than it actually was. So, I mean, it was a great time, though. I had a lot of fun there. Uh, series as a whole, though, it's not like the Cavs played horribly. Uh, they did not play well the first two games. Um, first three games. Well first two games um they did not play well but it's not like they played atrociously um it's just that the warriors are a, are a super team you know you can't compete with what they have um and it's just because they're loaded with all this different talent 
and you can't handle that. Nobody in the NBA can currently handle that um, unless another super team forms, you know, whether it be in San Antonio or in Cleveland or, you know, even somewhere else. Um, but as of right now, nobody can handle that kind of firepower um, that they have. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. There's always next year. Um, I imagine it's going to be another Cavaliers-Warriors matchup. Um, and then I've, I'm seeing a lot of stuff about LeBron leaving Cleveland after that, after this coming year. And I'm not too sure if I believe it because it's I, I, I feel like it's all speculation and all, like, all just a bunch of rumors to try and get people talking. So I don't really think that he's gonna leave. I, I I don't I don't see that happening. I really don't. But you know, again, you never know with these things. Anything can happen. But uh uh that's all I wanted to talk about in regards to sports. I actually covered that a lot faster than I thought I would. Um A lot did happen, but it's I'm not going to get into the the details of all of it because uh, that would occupy a lot of time, and uh, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, is there anything in regards to the NBA that I, or not the NBA, the NFL that I forgot to bring up? Uh, I I don't think so. I mean, there isn't really anything that's gone on in the NFL that's worth talking about. Um, I know of a lot of things going on in the NFL, but it nothing that's worth talking about. Um, so, yeah, I think. I think that that's all I have for sports. And again, if you don't like sports, I apologize. Actually, this is the first time I'm saying this this episode. Um, if you don't like sports, I apologize for boring you with it. Um, but it's something I like. It's something I'm passionate about. Um, so obviously, I'm going to talk about it. Uh so, Thank you if you sat through all of it. I greatly appreciate it. Regardless of whether or not you like sports, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I think we're going to actually end this episode here. Um, we've been going for about 15 minutes, I think. And I think this is a good stopping point. We're almost up, back up to 2 billion watts, which is kind of insane um that we managed to get back to that point in one episode alone so we'll see how much it does it you know when i'm not playing um you know that'd be real cool to see what it pulls off um anyway if you guys are enjoying this series let me know down in the comment section below like the video and share it with your friends it lets me know you want to see more of any game series i do here on the channel uh the link down to the game is in the description box down below if you want to pick it up for yourself and if you guys enjoyed this video in particular, again, all likes and comments are greatly appreciated. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. And I'll talk to you later.